how mountains are uncivil spine, how she stood in the open plantation with a silver bracelet that said, holy to God, how she moved through the streets on borrowed warmth, how she died in disappearing gestures, how you can strangulate that thought, how a boy stayed nameless, how the aversion made a world, how at the hour of noon she was her best person, how blood turns into other substances and then to blood again, how this place is leaving, how she saw copper valleys, how she died in a motel in Las Vegas, how she had no story, how we still have the kindness to look. This story is about the sister Iris, told by the other sister, Zina. No, this is a story about illness, told by the other illness. No, this is a story that will be told more than once by those told of the story. Resurrection. The gleaming linoleum reflects a unicorn. When your sister Zina is born, her eyes reluctant and wet, her scalp a smell of milk gone bad, you knew she would not help you understand anything. At 16, you audition for the role of Cassandra. After the line, Cassandra, Cassandra, your ruins forgive. You fall on your knees and sing. A man whistles you off stage and says, your legs are too plump. A four acre large tear would put out the flame of the Statue of Liberty. Loins and swamp, an innermost polyp watches. Hoarded dreams under siege conjure in your sleep. Sugar slowly descends through the grinded dark to the very bottom where all sweetness rests. Coffee crops would fail and the country forcibly detoxed. Then you bring your father news. You say, Dad, I cannot think. I have no questions and no answers. He nods and says, don't tell your mother. Something was missed and would be missed again. How you remember your sister. She's driving with a thick woolen coat, fake fur around the cuffs. The road winds, sheer snow all around. Her nails are painted in dark crimson, hands firm around the steering wheel. She observes nothing, and you desire her. On Baker Street, it happens. Your mother is the daughter of Beryl Weinberg. Your father is a dentist. An embryonic cell would switch to female. Your hair is thickest, your nose narrow. You say, who fucking cares? I have locked a laugh in a high ceiling room and nobody has the keys. And once you stood in its center, you would become it.